Hi, I'm Samantha Ladd-Hale, Girl Scouts of Maine. I am here to talk about our next piece in the series of making the world a better place. Today we're going to be talking about regrowing plants. So not growing from seed, but regrowing from parts of plants that you have in your refrigerator and you may have used already or have in your kitchen at least. So today we're going to be talking about regrowing potatoes and celery and as a way to help make that world a better place. All right, so this activity will take about five minutes. It will take about that long to prepare or less and then depending upon the growing time of the plant will depend on how long the whole project will take, your waiting time if you will. So you'll need a potato with eyes. So you can see I have one that's already started to grow some eyes there. You'll need a knife a, and a cutting board, some soil eventually, a day or so down the line, and a bucket for the potatoes. For the celery, you'll need celery, a container to put water in, and some warm water to start with. So let's get started. Okay, so for the potatoes, you can see I've cut a few already. Um, so they, I made sure to make sure that there's one eye or two on each of the pieces of the potato. You're gonna be cutting it in half. So this potato here, I'm gonna make sure to look around and see where the eyes are. And I'm going to be cutting it in half with at least one or two eyes on each half. Once that's complete, you're gonna leave them out to dry for overnight or a few days, depending upon um, how long it takes for them to feel dry to the touch. Once you're all set with that part, you're going to be planting them in about one feet, one foot apart from each other, about eight, in eight inches of soil. And so a great um, container to do that with is one of these five gallon buckets. So. Uh, that's an option or in in the ground as well, but just that's a great way um, that you can use those. So for regrowing celery, you can think of the whole celery stalk. I've already pre-cut this, but the whole celery stalk, I'm just going to cut off the bottom, which I did already. You can see there's just the bottom of the celery, and you're going to be taking this. You're going to be taking some sort of container and some warm water, and you're going to be pouring the warm water in the container so that you can place the celery right in here so that it can start getting um, the water in. You're gonna be leaving it in that container for about a week and you're going to be changing the water about every other day and you could mist it about every other day. Since I can't fast forward time, I have a picture to show you of something like it would look. Um, in about a week or more, depending upon how much sun um, the sunny spot you've left it in, it'll look something like that. So after a week or so that your celery has been in this container, um, you're going to make sure to move it um, into a planter or directly into the ground, covering it with soil, not covering the leaves with soil. So from the picture that I showed you before, not covering the leaves, you're gonna keep these leaves out um, so that they can grow. Um, and it will turn into a celery plant. So now that you've finished exploring regrowing vegetables, check out some other activities that you might enjoy. Gro the gardener badge, for example, or the so what journey, or other STEM badges. So thanks so much again for trying this activity of regrowing vegetables with me today and for making the world a better place. You can find more fun activities at girlscoutsofmaine.org slash girlscoutsathome. And I hope you have a great time. Have fun. Until next time.